Welcome to Tinker Perks. Before we begin this tutorial, let's make a deal. If this tutorial works for you, you will owe me a subscription to this channel. Okay, let's begin. First, we need to prepare the things we need. 1. A PS4 controller or any Bluetooth joystick you might already have. Most controllers are already supported. You may check the link on the video description for the full details. 2. ESP32 Development Module Most gamepads, as of 2023, use BREDR, also known as Bluetooth Classic. Worth noting is that BREDR is only supported on ESP32 and Pico W, and not in ESP32S3, ESP32C3. So make sure your ESP32 and controller is compatible and have the same protocol to avoid connection problems. 3. PC. We will be installing the latest Arduino IDE, from there we will install the necessary boards and BluePad32 library. To download the Arduino IDE software just go to your browser and search for Arduino IDE download. Click the link and you will be redirected to the official Arduino website. Scroll down and select the version supported by your operating system. After the download is complete, double-click the file to install the software. After completing the installation, we can now install the ESP32 BluePad32 to Arduino. Click on File, Preferences, and paste the BluePad32 URL on the Additional Boards Manager and click OK. URL is provided on the video description below. On Boards Manager we can now see the BluePad32 available for installation. Click on Install. We can now insert our ESP32 board on the computer. There are times that ESP32 example sketches are not showing on the drop-down options. To fix this, we will need to select ESP32 the standard board and afterwards select the ESP32 BluePad32. Example sketches are now showing on the drop-down options. We are now ready to upload this code to our ESP32, but before that we will be commenting out a line of code. 
since I don't want the ESP32 to forget the previously paired devices to it. This is just for my preference. After the code is uploaded, we need to press the Enable button on the ESP32. And we will also set the controller on pairing mode. For the PS4, we need to hold down PS and Share button until you see a two quick blinks. Just wait a few seconds and the connection will initialize. Upon successful connection, you will see a steady light on the PS controller and a continuous stream of data on the serial monitor. We can also try different Bluetooth controllers and connect them at the same time. Up to four controllers are supported. I hope this video helped you. Big thanks to our friend Ricardo Quesada for sharing this wonderful creation. Stay tuned to this channel. We will be using this Bluetooth control for the upcoming projects. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Goodbye.